Hello, this is Rick, and today we'll be going over number 20 of the 2020 AMC 10A. On the 2020 AMC 10A, there weren't that many geometry problems, with this and number 12 being the only two geometry problems on the test. However, while most people got number 12, not as many people got this. Online, you'll see that most of the solutions come out to be coordinate bashing. However, I believe there's a much more sophisticated solution, and that's what I'm going to be showing today. Quadrilateral ABCD satisfies angle ABC equals angle ACD equals 90. AC equals 20, and CD equals 30. Diagonals AC and BD intersect at point E, and AE equals to 5. What is the area of quadrilateral ABCD? Just like any good geometry problem, the only way to solve this is by drawing a good diagram. So let's do that. So in the problem, it tells us that ABC and ADC are 90, so they're right angles. And then, from there, it tells us that AC is equal to 20. But, since we know that A equals to 5, oh wait, we should probably draw the diagonals first. So the intersection of the diagonals is Z. So yeah, back to what I was saying. It says in the problem that AC equals to 20. Uh, but we know that A equals to 5. So if we know that A equals to 5, then we can say that EC equals to 15, because they add up to AC. Then it also tells us that CD is equal to 30. So let's draw that in. So in this geometry problem, we don't really have that much to work with here. So we should probably add some more lines in order to make the problem easier for us to deal with. The line that I feel like is best to add is the altitude. Now with that, we can see two triangles that are similar with one another. This new triangle that I formed by drawing, dropping the altitude and triangle CED. So we can so we can write a relationship between these two triangles. I'm going to label these tri I'm going to label the intersection between the altitude and AC as F. And then we can write triangle EFB is similar to triangle ECD. Okay. So that's a good relationship to know. However, we don't really know that much about triangle EFB. One thing we do know is the re relationship between its sides. Since we see that EC is one half of CD, and we know that triangle EFB is similar to the triangle, we know that the relationship between EF to FB is also in a 1 to 2 ratio. So thus, if we name EF as X, then we know that FB is going to equal to 2X. So then, from there, we have something that's interesting. We know that the altitude of the triangle is equal to 2x. Yeah. There's a relationship that the altitude of the altitude is the geometric mean of the parts the hypotenuse breaks up. So in this case, that means that AF over BF is equal to BF over CF. 
we know what BF is in both of these cases. BF is equal to 2x. So let's replace that in this relationship. Is it possible for us to find AF in terms of x? Well, we know that AE is equal to 5 because it tells us that in the problem. And we, and we said that FE is going to equal to x. So then from there, can't we say that AF is 5 minus x? So let's replace that. So, write that here. And then, since we got that AF is equal to 5 minus x, and we know that AC is equal to 20, in order for AC to equal to 20, FC has to equal to 15 plus x. Then with this relationship, we can cross multiply. Since all this information is now stored down in this in this equation right here, or in the problem, I'm gonna erase it so we can make room to write up the equation that we get when cross multiplying this. Now from cross multiplying it, we get 2x squared is equal to 5x 5 minus x times 15 plus x. So then if we expand both sides, we get a quadratic. 4x squared is equal to negative x squared from foiling, negative x squared minus 15x plus 5x, which is minus 10x, plus 75. So let's make this, let's move all this over to the other side. We get 5x squared plus 10x Minus 75 equals to 0. Okay? Now we just need to factor out this equation and get the result. So then looking at this quadratic, we can realize we're, we, just, we can just divide the entire thing by 5. So right doing that, we get x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals to 0, right? Looking at this, we can factor it out into x plus 5 times x minus 3. Okay? So then, obviously the altitude of a triangle has to be a positive number, so this x minus 5 case doesn't work, which tells us that x has to equal to 3. So, in this case, we get 2x. 2x will, will, uh, 2x will have to equal to 6. So, since now we know that 2x is equal to 6, we can find the area of that triangle, even though we don't know any of its other side. We know, only know one side length. So, 2x is equal to 6, and AC is equal to 20. The area of, the tri of a triangle is just base times height over 2. In this case, we know that the height is equal to 6. The base will be equal to 20. And if we do if we just compute this, we're going to get 60. To find the area of the other triangle, we'll just do the same thing. In this case, we know that the base is going to be 30, the height is going to be 20. We do that. And we get that the area will be 300. Adding these two results up, we get 360. 
which shows us that D is the right answer.